Abundant Energy in Harmony with Nature, Replacing Bad Building Codes, by Larry Hartweg, Zedmaster, at ZeroEnergyDesign.com. There are two things wrong with modern building codes. Number one, they are grossly obsolete. They're based on century-old construction concepts that mandate inefficiency. It's difficult to make energy efficiency improvements. Number two is widespread industry corruption. Payoffs to building inspectors allow builders to ignore codes. A Florida study found that half of new buildings did not meet minimum legal building codes. In 2004, three rare hurricanes crossed central Florida. Most buildings were undamaged, but a few new buildings had their roofs ripped off and the walls blew down. They did not have the required hurricane clips. America is the world's worst waster of energy. American buildings waste more energy than transportation or industry. Our number one priority is to reduce the huge amount of energy wasted by buildings. It is even more important than reducing the energy being wasted by our inefficient vehicles. 70 to 100 percent reduction in building energy use has been proven by Zero Energy Design and the U.S. Department of Energy for 28 years. Why are uninformed architects and builders still designing and constructing buildings that have ever-escalating energy bills? The American Institute of Architects website says, Architects know that buildings can be designed to operate with less than half the energy of today's average U.S. building at little or no additional cost. The problem is they've not been trained how, and building codes do not require it. The United States has a program for Energy Star Qualified Homes. They are 15% more energy efficient than homes built to the 2004 building code. These homes are very cost effective. It's no big deal, it's easy to do, and financial incentives apply. 86% of potential home buyers say they would pay more for one, but they're just not available in most places. It seems like a no-brainer, but most builders ignore the Energy Star qualification for the homes. Florida buildings waste more energy than other states. Only 2% of new Florida homes are qualified for Energy Star, whereas 36% of new Texas homes are Energy Star compliant. Energy Star homes should be mandated minimum building code. Zero energy design buildings are very green, but most certified green homes are not zero energy, since most architects simply don't know how. The U.S. Green Building Council has a program called Leadership in Energy and Environment Design, the USGBCLEED. It certifies green buildings using a point value standard. LEED evaluates buildings in five areas sustainable site, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, materials and resources, and indoor environmental quality. The U.S. Green Building Council is a partial but incomplete step in the right direction toward zero energy. They have a number of get started evaluation criteria. All of these are good things, but they are not enough for zero energy. Obsolete American building codes encourage energy waste. Myopic builders strive to build the worst possible house that is legal, and half the time they don't even meet all of the building codes. Since 1977, the U.S. Department of Energy, Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy Weatherization Assistance Program has reduced energy for 5.5 million low-income homes by an average of 31%. It is easy to reduce new construction building energy usage by more than 50%, often at no extra cost to the builder or buyer, and economic incentives apply. Zero energy requires holistic system engineering, from net zero annual utility bills to off-the-grid that doesn't even require a power company connection. Eliminating a major portion of American building energy consumption is now very cost-effective. Compare conventional careless construction with zero energy design. 
The average new home barely complies with building codes, hopefully. The architect and builder's primary goal is often minimum initial cost. The net result is over $200 a month utility bills for air conditioning, power, water, and sewage. And in some places, those bills are increasing 7 to 8 percent per year. Average homes have unhealthy toxins, mold, insects, uncontrolled air infiltration, a lower quality of life, less comfortable, shorter lifespan, poor window design, unsafe, poor quality construction. They are unsustainable, non-renewable pollution and global warming systems. Zero energy design far exceeds building codes with much lower total cost of ownership that focuses on energy first systems engineering of beautiful homes. They can cost effectively have zero net annual bills for air conditioning, power, water, and sewer. They can optionally operate disconnected from all utility companies. They work just fine when power companies frequently fail. Zero energy design homes are more attractive, healthy, comfortable, and safe. Their low cost per square foot means that you can afford a larger home with much better daylight and views. They qualify for the energy efficient mortgage program and can have the same or lower down payment, lower total monthly payments, the same or shorter mortgage length, and much higher resale value that goes up every time conventional home utility bills increase. They provide abundant energy in harmony with nature. The United States Energy Independence and Security Act was signed into law on December 19, 2007. You can read the full text on thomas.gov. It provides funds to support code-setting organizations and state and local governments in developing minimum performance standards in building codes that recognize the ready availability of many technologies utilized in high-performance energy-efficient buildings. These new funds are to be used for measures that increase energy efficiency and decrease energy consumption, development and implementation of building codes and inspection services to promote building energy efficiency. Zero Energy Design supports this goal. We need significantly improved building codes and enforcement. For more details, see zeroenergydesign.com and passivesolarenergy.info.